Yo, yo, I'm back. It's your boy Trey from Boas Abound with another episode of Blogging About Boas. Uh, in this episode, I think I'm going to talk about uh, probably holdbacks. I've been taking a lot of random clips of, uh, you know, Boas babies here and there. So I think I'm going to do this video uh, mainly focusing on 2022 holdbacks. Not all of them, but some of my favorites. Um... With baby season finally started here for me, my first litter dropped. Um, you guys probably saw that. And then also I have a, um, I had a slug out. Maybe you didn't see the actual first litter. I think I'll include that. Mm, I don't know. I might include it in this video. I don't know. I might leave my litters as they come for another video. I don't know. But like I said, this video, I'm going to focus on 2022 holdbacks not all of them but just some of my favorites to give you guys some content um as i'm moving forward focusing on replacing well not replacing making room for the new 2020 babies that are um coming i'm gonna be doing a couple flash sales here and there so be on the lookout for that definitely always follow my tiktok account at boas abound facebook slash boas abound and um instagram at boas abound Trying to give you guys consistent content, interesting stuff. Uh, still just not a ton of boa constrictor content out there. It's me and a couple other guys, to be honest. Most people deal with a lot of different things, but over here at Boas Abound, is boas over everything, but y'all already knew that. Uh, without further ado, here's some cool boas. Nothing special here, just a hold back. Really high quality lipstick line, Sun Glow Jungle. Just a smoke show of a boa. Honestly though, I may sell this one as well. I just have too many lipstick line sun glow jungles. And uh, geez Louise, this thing is awesome. Somebody might get lucky. We'll see how I'm feeling. <laughs> Look at that pattern. Look at that tail. Ooh, buddy. So this is a fire uh, VPI. Um, with a really, really nice widow peak pattern. I think um I think I actually have her listed. She was a hold back. Actually, she still is a hold back, but somebody wants to buy her. They can take her off my hands. Still not many of these around, especially this quality. Look at that widow's peak. So pretty. So many different things you could do with this project too. Limitless, limitless possibilities. What an absolutely phenomenal animal. Whew. Next level. This is a fire jungle VPI holdback mail that I produced this year. Fresh shed, you see the shed there still. I think that's a little bit of poop or something. I don't know what that little spot is, but man, is he pretty. What fire does to everything, but especially VPI, is just next level. If you like clean, if you like creamy and clear, you definitely have to have this combo. Even without jungle, I made um, three of them and I made one without jungle, actually. I'll show you guys a video of that as well. Just beautiful, my goodness. Fire Jungle VPI, one of my favorite, all time favorite fire combos. This is a Sunglow ROT. This head for Annery. Crazy color on this one. Um, it's a whole back female. One of the largest that were in the litter. Still growing fairly faster than the other litter mates. But uh, man, she is pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Lots of potential here when we're talking about Moonglow. 
and snow uh, visual combinations. A couple years, I have a really, really nice male lined up for her and her litter mates. And uh, we'll see how it goes, fingers crossed. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that tail. Woo! This guy here is an Annery ROT that is 100% hat for Call Albino. The nicest one I've ever produced. Probably one of the nicest ones I've ever seen. Um, I thought he was ghost when he was first born. But I'll show you a ghost. Um, so you know that there's no hypo here, but the pattern is so clean and distinct. Uh, as soon as he came out of the goo, I knew he was going to be a hold back. This guy's beyond awesome. So many people have tried to buy him from me. I've considered it, but, you know, I only have a few of them. And you never know. So this guy's not going anywhere. Love him, love him, love him. Once again, it's an Annery 1 RLT. Let's head for Call Out By Now. So this guy here is a um, ghost RLT that is 100% head for Call Out By Now. Look at that eye. Ooh, man, I love the way that Annery eye looks. Silver. Kind of white at times also. These uh, ghosts get light and dark. They have different phases at times. Um, piercing. Man, I love this guy. But yeah, this is uh, the other male that has hypo. Just so you can see the contrast between the Annery ROT and the Ghost ROT. Again, both 100% hit for called albino. So some really, really nice... Uh, snow and moon glow combos paired or, or uh, planned for uh, for these guys in the future. This guy here is a moon glow RLT uh, call line albino. A moon glow is a uh, snow with the hypogene added and then this is an ROT, so it's an ROT pattern. So basically you have a four gene visual. Hypo, ROT, call out by no, Annery one. And I absolutely love this guy. So this absolute beauty is a Red Panther possible super VPI Sunglow Jungle Paradox possible head blood. I feel like these titles keep getting longer and longer. But I freaking love the way this one came out. Look at that. So unique. So much saturation. So much personality. Pizzazz. I love it. it looks dirty. It's like the IMG's trying to fight through. Like, ah, I'm IMG. But no, you're not. See, look at the rest of the body. But almost no cigar. Beautiful, 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 nevertheless. Love working with these jeans. It's crazy what they do and get confused. It's like six out of this litter that ended up being Paradox. So I might do the same pairing again and see what I get. Because Paradox, for what we know right now, is not genetic. But who knows? Somebody might prove that wrong one day. Might be me. So this guy is an IMG Red Panther VPI Motley Possible Jungle Possible Head Blood. Now, he is a holdback. He was born blind. He has such a unique look. I was like, instead of selling him at a discount, I'm going to breed him. Maybe. I don't know. He just looks so cool, I'm going to keep him. I might breed him one day. But if you have animals that are born blind... It's typically not genetic outside of albino. So with T negative albinism, it can be, you know, having blind or one eye can be more common, but it's really not genetic per se. It's more so to do with a infection that happens in the womb. So if it's treated 
um, while in the womb, um, it's, it's actually avoidable. I say one in maybe 30 or 40, probably more than that, of my babies of all genes um, come out with one eye or with two eyes. I'm sorry, come out with one eye or, or blind. But he was so unique looking. I didn't care. And it's not going to hinder him or stop him from doing anything. He eats well. He drinks. He's growing. So, didn't really matter to me. Still an awesome, awesome looking animal. And uh, like I said, it's not genetic. Sometimes people don't understand how that really works when they come out blind or, or with one eye. So... Odds are you will not pass one eye or being blind down to the next generation because it's not genetic for the most part. IMG Red Panther Possible Super VPI Sun Glow Jungle Possible Hit Blood Hold Back. Can't get enough of looking at this girl. Don't tag me, pretty girl. Man, this thing is pretty. One of my favorites from 2022. And that extra red blushing and pink blushing could be due to the Red Panther lineage. Or it could be that possible blood popping out. I don't know. I don't really care. She ain't going nowhere. Look at those eyes. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. This is what I do it for. Stuff like this. This is a Red Panther VPI Sun Glow Motley. Possible jungle. Possible hit blood hold back. Woo -hoo. A little bit of paradoxing going on there too on this baby. I just love the look. I don't have many of these, man, and this thing is screaming. I have so many of these that are visual IMGs. It's, it's cool to just see a nice contrast without the IMG. Very nice, very nice. This smoke show of a boa is a hold back possible super vpi sun glow jungle possible head blood img can't forget the img look at that head i'm taking out these babies one by one and just trying to look at them and remember what they are and all i gotta do is look right there duh but yeah really really nice hold back excited to see uh you know, many, many years down the line, what this baby can produce for me. So gorgeous. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in um, to another episode of Blogging About Boas. Uh, hopefully, you guys liked and enjoyed some of my favorites, some of my holdbacks from 2022. I might do a part two of this video. I'm not sure just yet. But uh, if you see something you like, just reach out to me. You know what I mean? If, if there's a price that's on Morph Market... Um, that might be close to what you want. Maybe you want to make an offer. Go ahead and toss me an offer. The worst thing I can say is no. People send me offers all the time. I often say no, but sometimes I say yes if we're close. Um, so link is always in the description below to all of my available BOAs. And again, if you want to just reach out and talk BOA talk, if you have questions about jeans, if you have questions about potential pairs you might have, I will talk your head out, head off about BOA constrictors. I just love them to death. I can't get enough of them. So um as usual, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. And uh, it's Bowers Over Everything. Until next time, peace.